Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a fake exhaust flames very easy and quick in After Effects. First of all let's go to tracker tab and hit on track camera. Once the analyzing is done, select some points on the exhaust, then right click and select, set ground plane and origin. Right click again and select, create null and camera. Once we have a track null on the exhaust, we should download any flame or explosion footage from this website. Make sure to register on Production Crate to download daily 5 free items like, video effects, sound effects, free plugins and many more. This is not a paid commercial video or something, I just show you where you can get the highest quality green screens and Production Crate is really lifesaver. Just to let you know, I don't do any commercial or any ad type videos on AM Film. I really don't want to annoy you with commercial videos while you watch tutorials. Let's type explosion free and download one you will enjoy more for your exhaust video. In this tutorial I will use this one. Once you have downloaded yours, let's drag and drop it into AE timeline. Link explosion layer to attract null and enable 3D on it. Correct the position now and then change X, Y and Z rotations until it looks fine to you. Once you are satisfied with it, let's change the colors of the flame to make it more realistic. Add color balance HLS effect on it. Now simply change the hue until it looks cool to you. Now we have that unwanted blue lines here that annoys, let's quickly fix it. Grab a pen tool and make sure explosion layer is selected and mask only fire like in the video. Press F on your keyboard now and add feather a bit to smooth the edges. That looks better but it seems a bit slow, I will speed it up a bit. Right click on explosion, go to time and click on time stretch. Change stretch factor to 60. That's way better now. In my case there are two exhausts so, let's duplicate explosion layer and move it on another one. I will make it a bit smaller. Let's change the timing as well. That looks pretty cool. Lastly we can add shake effect, I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.